This could not be worse pick-and-roll defense if you try. Gabe Vincent's got to fight over the top of the screen. I don't know what he's doing. And with the nugget size, with Jokic, with Aaron Gordon, if you're the big in-drop coverage off of a pick-and-roll, your feet have to be set in a defensive stance because you're going to have to be able to stunt at the ball but then be able to recover. Let's start with Gabe Vincent. What is he doing? Why? You're trying to get over a screen. Why are you going this way? You just took a step backwards. So, no. <laughs> It's going to take you forever to get over this screen. Orlando Robinson's feet aren't even close to set. Dunk contest. Okay, this whole thing is mainly because Jimmy Butler is playing atrocious one-on-one defense. What are you doing? What what even is what you just did? So now Bam Adebayo obviously has to step up and help. Well, Max Struess has got to rotate down. You, I mean, you can't leave the lob open. You got to hope Gabe Vincent will rotate over here to Michael Porter Jr. and Jimmy Butler will get over here to KCP. But you can't leave. I was, Okay, Duncan Robinson cannot be this awful in transition defense right here. You got to get your feet set in a defensive stance. Now, Bam Adebayo knows you're terrible on defense, so he's going to come over here and help you. But you can't get totally worked. Get in a defensive stance. You're backpedaling before Michael Porter Jr. has done anything. He's not done anything. Where are you going? So now when Bam Adebayo comes to help you, it doesn't matter because you were on skates. Jamal Murray's unbelievable. We know that. Okay, should be an all-NBA player, should be an all-star. Bam Adebayo has got to give him more respect here and drop coverage off this pick-and-roll. Stop. Bam Adebayo needs to have it in a defensive. This is not a defensive stance. You have to have your feet set. you got to be able to guard Jamal Murray a little bit. Stunt at the ball, recover, give Tyler Harrow some time to get over the screen. I don't know. You're not guarding him at all here. And by the way, you have backside help here for Nikola Jokic. It's just too easy. I could have done that. This cannot happen in the finals. This is what destroyed the Lakers. You know anytime Jokic gets a defensive rebound, he's looking to start a fast break. Tyler Harrow does not need to go towards the ball here. Sprint back. Jimmy Butler's got to sprint back. He's just standing. I mean, that is complete nonsense. Uh, Wide open. This cannot happen if the Heat run a zone. You have to be on your toes. Jokic is probably the greatest passing big man of all time. Tyler Harrow's got the middle of the zone here. Max Struess has the wing. Why would Tyler Harrow vacate the middle of the zone to double on the wing? So now, look at this. This is a two-on-one right here. And you know Jokic is going to find him. You cannot relax with Jokic when he's posting you up. Right now, you got to be, Orlando Robinson's got to be right up battling for position right now, okay? Because Jokic's first step is huge. If you're just letting him rest on your hand right here, that means when he lowers his shoulder into you right here, instead of you creating contact yourself, Jokic is going to be moving you backwards. And once that happens, now Jokic is too deep, easy two, plus one. Okay, you know that the Heat are going to be looking to double Aaron Gordon and Nikola Jokic. Well, you better rotate out of this because the Nuggets have shooters. Now, Gabe Vincent rotates to Concar right here, but Orlando Robinson has to come over to Bones Highland, and this is where Jimmy Butler goes. Duncan Robinson is not going to have time to get out to the second option right here, but this rotation is trash, pump fake, shoot around. I mean, Duncan Robinson has to be better defensively. I, I don't know why. He can't be absolutely terrible. Like, you, you're you guarding Bruce Brown here. Max Drews is taking Vlatko Konkar. Beautiful. Why are you trying to switch this up? There's no screen. Where were you going? So now Konkar's wide open in the corner. Pump and go. Draw help. Two-time MVP. These five-on-fours happen all the time with Jokic when he gets a defensive rebound. Figure it out. Max Struess is going to have to stay with Bruce Brown here. Obviously, Jimmy Butler had to step up and help, but you just got to hope that he can come to the corner here. Uh, There's nothing else to do here. But you leaving Bruce Brown is not an option. It is not an option. Transition defense against the Nuggets is everything. So figure it out. Tyler Harrow must sprint back immediately so he can stay with Bruce Brown. If he's not going to do that and Kyle Lowry wants to take Bruce Brown fine, then he needs to sprint over here. I mean, I don't even know what Tyler Harrow's doing right now, so now we're stuck with two people guarding Bruce Brown. Jokic was the one leading the fast break. You know someone's going to be open then. 
Okay, if Max Struess is going to double here, he can't just sort of double. He's got to fully commit to this double team. Max Struess is just kind of sort of thinking about doubling. No, 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 that doesn't work. you got to close off Aaron Gordon's passing angles to the weak side of the floor. Then Tyler Harrow would have to rotate down. If KCP cuts, which is very likely, Bam Adebayo would have to rotate here. And then Jimmy Butler would ultimately have to come here if that's where the pass goes. And this is where Struess would end up. But Max Struess isn't doubling. You're just kind of standing in the middle of nowhere. Like, yeah, I mean, what is there left to say? What is Kyle Lowry doing trying to front the post? There's no backside help. You cannot front the post unless Max Struess is over here. So even if Max Struess is in the spot he was supposed to be in, he's not, when the ball gets swung here, Max Struess would then have to leave. Then you'd really be in trouble. So now you're going to try and get back underneath Aaron Gordon. Nah, he's going to seal you in the post. Catch, bucket plus one. This drop coverage has got to be buttoned up when it's Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic running the pick and roll. What is Adebayo doing? Get your hands off of Jokic. You've got to be able to recover to Jokic and drop coverage. So I need to back off him. i got to have my feet set. Okay, in a defensive stance. i got to be able to stunt at the ball but then recover to Jokic. You're, you're instantly backpedaling. You have no chance of recovering to Jokic. Catch and shoot. And this is nonsense. This cannot happen in the finals. Pick and pop. Jokic can shoot. Adebayo's got to have his feet set. He's got to be able to guard the ball, but then recover to Jokic on this pick and pop. Look at Bayam Adebayo. He's not even on the side where Jamal Murray's coming off the screen. So pff, your feet, of course, aren't set. You're backpedaling. Catch and shoot. This is shoot around. Figure it out. Jimmy Butler is doing a pretty good job guarding Jokic in the post right here. He's at the free throw line. So I don't really understand why Bam Adebayo is leaving Jamal Murray, but if he is, then Kyle Lowry's got to get up the line here because he has to rotate here. And then this is where Max Struess goes, and this is where Adebayo's got to ultimately end up. But Bam Adebayo's doubling, very questionably doubling for not really any reason, and now the, and you don't rotate. This is complete nonsense. Bam Adebayo's got to somewhat guard the ball here. Pick and roll, okay? Jamal Murray's coming off the pick and roll unbelievable player. You got to have your feet set in a defensive stance. You got to be able to stunt at the ball and recover, but you can't just ignore Jamal Murray coming off of this pick and roll. I mean, again, this is just a right to the rim. 